What are the roles in data science? In the realm of data science, machine learning, and artificial intelligence, you'll come across many roles like data scientist, data analyst, data engineer, and so on that could be all confusing. Whether you work for a company trying to find people, or you're a great candidate yourself, or you're a recruiter who has to match companies with candidates, it'll be great if you can understand these roles better. The problem is exasperated when different companies use different terms. Candidates also tend to hype themselves into cooler roles because it pays better. But imagine the confusion if some people called an apple an orange, an orange a banana, and a banana a grape. The best way to understand different roles in this data space is to map the steps of how businesses extract value from data. Let's say that an insurance company is interested in offering dynamic risk for its customers, meaning as a person drives a car from the starting location to her destination, the risk can continuously change depending on a number of factors like traffic, weather, conditions of the road, the speed of the car, crime rate, etc. A base insurance risk is also computed based on the driver, her car's make, model, and year, and her driving history. The data science team is charged with this work. First, we need to collect the right data from internal databases, from external sources like the weather company, the automobile manufacturer, etc. A business analyst understands the business needs. He will then pass these requirements to the data analyst whose job is to understand the data and determine what data is needed to address the business problem. The data comes from multiple sources and we need to collect the data through data pipelines, clean and transform the data, and possibly aggregate it into a database or a data source. This is the job of the data engineer. A data designer usually is worried about how the data is stored meaning she understands the relationships between the incoming data fields and designs the structure of how it should be stored. This data has to be stored somewhere and managed properly with security access so not everybody has access. It has to be backed up in case the data is lost so that it can be retrieved, etc. This job is done by the database administrator. Data comes in different formats and fields. For example, the weather data may have 10 fields with a frequency of, of update every two minutes, while the traffic data may have six fields with a frequency of update every 10 minutes. Someone needs to understand the big picture. That's the job of the data architect who designs the architecture of how all this should work. The data engineer and the data designer work closely with the architect to realize the architecture. The data analyst I mentioned earlier will also try to understand the data and relationships and explore the data to make sure that the models can be built. If some data is missing, then they can go back to the collection point and gather more types of data. In many companies, the data analyst role morphs into the data scientist role as they gain more experience with statistics and machine learning. Typically, some people begin to explore this data to understand if there are any relationships, plotting it on multiple axes, understanding dependencies, and trying to figure out if some factors are more important than others. For example, they may find that the higher speed causes more accidents, and with slippery roads, that gets even worse. These people then try to create models of the system, which, when given all the parameters, like the driver's record, speed, weather and road conditions, it can predict the risk of a crash. This is the realm of the data scientists. They also have to select the right model among possibly tens of them. The data scientists have strong background in statistics and data exploration tools. Traditional statisticians can also fill this role with their strong statistics and mathematical backgrounds. It so happens that many models like this have already been designed and much of what the data scientists do is to fine tune the parameters of the model they've chosen. This fine tuning depends on understanding the data that they work with. 
Machine learning researchers actually create these models or explore variations of these models that can be used for different cases. Typically, only companies that are focused on developing new machine learning models and algorithms hire these kinds of people, like the Googles and Amazons of the world. The data scientists experiment with many models and play around with the model parameters. These are called hyperparameters. But that model has to be deployed properly so that it can take its input and produce the right outputs, which in turn can be used to make business decisions. In our case, the model has to take a continuous stream of input and produce a stream of risk values. This means that the machines and the environment it has to be deployed on has to be secure, has to handle scale as more users are tracked, and has to be monitored. All this is done by the machine learning engineer. Finally, full end-to-end -end business process is designed by business or process designers. Other roles are that of a business architect or an enterprise architect who understand and design the bigger picture. Typically, enterprise architects understand the technology part and the business architects understand the business part. Then there is this rare breed of people who understand the totally big picture of business and technology that enable the business to ultimately serve its customers. Unfortunately, they don't go by any consistent title, which makes it difficult for recruiters and organizations to find them. Having said all this, many roles overlap, often making comparisons difficult. For example, one company's statistician may be another company's data scientist, and maybe yet another company's data analyst. So no wonder this is all so confusing. The important thing is that when you think about assembling a great team, think about the skills that you would need in the team and hire appropriately. If you enjoyed watching this video, please consider subscribing. Thank you.